and welcome to Pink Poodle 2. This isn't Vogmas, this is an extra bonus video because it's one of my alternative boxes I get and I wanted to show you it. Um, first off, I want to apologise as I'm looking very rough today. I'm really not very well again at the moment, so um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, I'm trying my best, I really am, but it's um, yeah, it's not a good time. So anyway, so I've got this box, which is one of my alternative boxes, as you can see. It is the cult box for November. And um, let's dig in, see what we've got there. Cult box costs 27 or 29 pounds. I can never remember which one it is, because I get it mixed up with which casket with the pricing. So, but I'll list it down below anyway for you to, um, <clears throat> have a look at but yeah if you uh this is run by a lovely couple called michelle and carl i've been getting boxes off of those for a few years now and i've never really been disappointed i always enjoy the um, variety that they give to you because it's not necessary a witch box like which casket it deals with all different bits and pieces so different themes and i'm not sure what the theme is this this month actually i really don't know so it's all packaged lovely. I was really worried. It's, it's fragile all over, as you can see. I was like really worried that there was going to be some breakages. Because it, you know, things like this always worry me. I'll be repurposing this tissue paper a bit later for some of my gifts. Um, people. Um, and you've got some worms and some like. Circles, there is it. Blood, I don't know. <laughs> so, first thing I've um, opened is been like I'm really pleased it isn't um, broken. Is this, and this is a planter, I think that's what they call it. But yeah, I think this is a plant, a small planter for pots, but you could use it for which I'll probably use it for. I put my earrings at night and on the room, my stands. So, I've got beautiful roses and skull motif it's very nice you use it in the cup if you really want to but um yeah i would probably use this by my bed to put my earrings in at night so that i don't have them all over the shop which tends to happen quite a bit even though i made that thing i still seem to have loads and loads of earring, earrings all over the place that's what i for now billy is joining me he's actually on the bed i don't know if you can see him hold on hey billy Say hello. Oh, he's there, as you can see. And my bed cover is a Halloween one. Got bats and things on. Got the quilt out. <laughs> so, um, next we have, we do have a, a, a actual little card. It says, what does that say? Beautifully macabre. Oh, that's what this is. The box is beautifully macabre. Inside your box of oddities and curiosities. I chose these items with within as I wanted to share with you the interest in history, folklore and magical... That mag oh, sorry. Magic that these curiosities have to offer. So, and they're talking about this little thing here, and it says a little, say a little box of oddities and curiosities. So, open it up very shakily. So, first thing in here is a little jar, and it says Hawthorne, and it says. A sacred tree in many religions and cultures with a vast historic love, symbolism, magical meaning. In dramatic, dramatic law, whole form symbolizes death and is used at funeral pies where the Celtic love law, sorry, Celtic law, 
Hawthorne is said to be a gateway between our worlds and the fairy realms, and cutting down Hawthorne trees will result in bad luck. It is part of Europe and has been used to protect against vampires and the ancient Greeks associated Hawthorne with love, marriage and fertility. Hawthorne is still believed that Hawthorne is strong magic and protective plants, dried leaves, so dried leaves and berries you find in this box will make endless ones that may be sprinkled across boundaries and blurred and burned as incense to protect free from evil unwanted energy and used in love and fertility rituals i'm gonna smell of this so we i'm gonna smell it you don't smell of anything really it just looks like herbs i've been burning um what i burned in here earlier i was burning um Pablo Santa, I like to spend that in there. I'm just going to put that down there. Next, we have another little thing which says these are, believe it or not, let's have a look. I've never seen anything like this before, so this is all new to me. This is fantastic. Uh, how, uh, can you see? They look like little teeth, but they're not. It'd be amazing when I tell you what these are, unless you don't know what these are already. I've never owned anything like this before. These are... Put the thing back on. These are... Fossilised... Chlorid oh god chlorine odd stems Cl Cl oh, I can't even say it crinod stems also known as sea lilies what the were maritime oh they maritime mammals that existed 200 million years before dinosaurs. Some species are still found in seas today. Before the origins of these fossils were really truly understood, they were a thing of curiosity and folklore developed one called victory stones. They were believed to bring victory to anyone who wore and carried them. They also thought to be fairy money even believed to come from the heads heads of dragons oh good i don't know what that word is it's still believed that if you carried in your person these words that i cannot say i do apologize i can't say it will help you enjoy inner stability Invoke courage and help you brand it. Now, why do you say this word? Crin, crinoid stems. Crinoid stems. So that's interesting. Isn't it? These are fossils of things that were around two thousand million years ago. Wow, two hundred thousand million years ago, should I say? Okay. So what else have we got in the box? Oh, we've got a couple more things in the box here. I know what these are. I have a big chunk of it somewhere. Oh, I'll put it in a favour room. But yes, yeah, so I know what this is. I love this stuff. This is... Volcanic glass. Of my nose of... Otherwise known as obsidian. This ingenious rock is formed when the... When molten lava from a volcano cools rapidly, the sharp structure, structure of obsidian makes an excellent tool 
and deadly weapons that have been used throughout history. Since the Paleolithic age, they have even still today in the surgical stalls, as the blades can be made so sharp that the leaves minimal scarring, aside from being made into animal arrowheads, blades, homewares and jewellery. Obsidian also has been used for healing, witchcraft, spirituality since ancient times to protect, heal and scry. To Mayans and Aztecs, obsidian was valuable stone and was believed to hold powers. Obsidian slabs were pointed into mirror, mirrors so that they were used used to see into the future. Elizabethan alchemist and occultist John Dee used obsidian mirror to talk to angels. A obsidian scrying mirrors are still used in fortune telling to this day, obsidian is perfect for stone for protection, grounding and divination. Yes, I love obsidian. Oh, I've just dropped it. Isn't that normal for me? So, yeah, the girls bought me a big rum rock of it last year for Christmas. So, yeah, so I love obsidian. And there is one more thing, which is a bit of an odd thing. It is a bit of a curiosity because I would never think to get it. So this is a, I will show you in one second. This is a fossilised shark's tooth charm. Charm. This writing is very small and very hard for me to read. So I do apologise, my reading's a bit too lally. At least 10 million years old, this charm was born part of the peel of, oh, prehistoric shark's tooth grin. Turn to stone unearthed so we were wrapped in a band um thing secured with a skull it is it is yours to treasure before the misun the understanding fossilized of uh, fossilization these fossils were called tongue stones and believed that they were petrified tongues of dragons and snakes. They were used ready to poison what's the thing? To remedy to poisons and some cover I can't read, sorry. Today it is beloved and that sharks too will bring the wearer protection and strength. So it's in a nice little and that's a fossilized shark's tooth. Wow, look at that. Look at that. You can feel how sharp it is. That, God, that's a shark's I've never had anything like these before. I've never I've never had any fossils. I thought we'd never found it. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I should cherish that. I'll be worried I break it. That is lovely. So we'll put that back in our little box of curiosities. Along with our obsidian. Our fossilised animals, stem beings and all forms. So that is a little box of curiosities. Oddities and curiosities. Let's put that over here. Then we've got a skull roses little package thing here. Open this up, and it is now files, but the skulls on. It's great. It's too nice to use, isn't it? Oh, it's really cool. I like that. I've never seen that before. There's that. Then we have a pair of 
tweezers, a skull and all different markings on. So I'm not gonna well I'm not gonna see what to do tweezers because you know to, you can do whatever you need to do with tweezers, so there's that and it's got a skull on it. Then there's a skull head with <clears throat> this pink glittery nail varnish which I already took a little bit of putting on my finger. So there's that. Then we have this which is black coffee. Worship, we like our coffee, how we like our metal. And it's by the brand Black Coffee Worship, the 666 blend. So, I do like coffee. I might have some later on. Oh, God. Oh, that smells absolutely... Oh, I love the smell of coffee. Mm. When I worked in the supermarket... And um, I worked on the displays and I used to go to stores and work nights and work on the displays when they were in new stores. And you used to have to put out coffee. As you put it out, you squeeze it and it, oh, it used to smell coffee. So I was quite intoxicated with it. This is really nice. I'll enjoy this a bit later, actually. Might wake them up a little bit. And the last little bit we've got here is a little tote bag which is a really good sort of i don't know what they call this sort of sacking material um and it's got the symbol that they're using for the macabre oddities this month so it's beautifully macabre it's on there and it's on here so for cult box november the beautifully macabre We've got a tote bag. We've got some coffee, which I'm going to enjoy a bit later. We've got a card that's got a picture on the back of it and all information about this little box of curiosities, which has obsidian, a shark's tooth, uh, a fossilised shark's tooth, some fossilised um, stems, sea creatures, I think, or, and, and some hawthorn. We've got some emery boards. We've got a skull nail varnish. And we've got a skull roses planter. And a skull. Oh man, let's put them here. If I can have them. And this is the. A cult box for November 2022. It's very nice, very unusual. That's what I mean about cult box. They're very light. They do different things. They don't do, you know, you can guarantee that you're going to get something different from them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if my reading was a bit um, not as good as it should have been. So I can't see it very well. The writing's very small. And um, hopefully enjoyed it anyway. Some of my um, reading, a lot to be desired for. Plus with dyslexia, it's really hard to work out some of the letters and words and things. But, you know, so take care. Hope everyone stays safe and well. And everybody's not too cold because it is getting cold now. And I will see you in the next Pink Poodle too. Vlogmas will be is different to this, so you're say pull later on in vlogmas and i will see you then well you'll hear me then anyway and i will speak to you in the next pink poodle too take care everybody and always remember it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't until next time bye